You know, when we grow up and start earning money, we all have some long-term dreams like buying a house or owning a BMW or a Mercedes. Now, the question that comes to our mind is, right now I have this dream, but how can I achieve it? Because buying a house or a BMW is expensive. And if you are at the starting point of your career, arranging for that kind of money can be difficult. The only way out here is to start investing your money early on so that over time your money has grown to a point where you can think of building your own home or having a luxury car without any problems. But for many of you out there who have never invested their money anywhere, this video will definitely help you because I'm going to provide you with certain tips which will help you start your investment journey today. I still remember the first time I invested my money. I knew nothing about how investing worked. I just went online, read a few things, saw some videos and just took a gamble. So here are the top four things that I wish I had known before I started investing. Tip number one, knowing your objective of investing. You need to know what you are investing your money for. Is it for building your own house or having money to travel the world and check everything off in your bucket list? Because your objectives will help you decide where you need to invest your money, how much you need to invest and for how long will you have to stay invested to ultimately achieve your goal. For example, if you're investing your money for a future home, you will look for an investment opportunity which will be of low risk and will provide you with steady returns over a long period of time. Whereas if you need money to travel around the world, you will look for an investment where you will get high returns with a high risk to reward ratio on your investment over a shorter period of time. Then we go on to tip number two. You need to know your investment time frame, or as we call it, horizon. Since you are the one deciding your investment objective, associating a time frame to your investment journey is crucial. You can easily understand by checking out how mutual funds want you to invest. They require you to stay invested for a one year period, three year period, five year period to get the maximum return that they can offer. This will help you gain a clear idea of how much time it will take for you to achieve your objective. Tip number three is knowing your risk tolerance. When you invest, there is always a certain amount of risk that comes with it. Everyone has different risk tolerances. Some people tend to invest in very high risk opportunities because the higher the risk, the higher the returns. While others who want to play it safe tend to go towards the low risk opportunities like FDs and RDs. So knowing your risk tolerance is very important because being unaware of it can lead to you losing all your money that you've invested. Tip number four, you need to diversify your investment portfolio. You might have heard the phrase to not put all your eggs in one basket. As I mentioned before, the market is unpredictable. And in the past, there have been few instances where the markets have crashed, bringing down people's investments in certain sectors. So whenever you're investing your money, you should try and invest your money in different sectors and investment instruments, or as we call them, asset classes. Like, for example, you can invest in stocks, mutual funds, FDs and gold. So if one sector or investment crashes, your entire investment portfolio doesn't completely collapse. And that's the video, guys. Comment down below with what you feel are the things that are important for someone who has never invested before and which can help them understand the concept of investing. If you like this video, then make sure you are subscribed to our channel because I will keep uploading more such videos related to finance and investment every week. Thank you for watching. See you again.